Hey friends, it's Ramona, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a small haul that I made from the Freaky Friday sale um, from Sensi. And um, not to be confused with the Festive Friday sale, which was uh, when we'll be starting tomorrow. There was one last Friday and the Friday before that. I didn't order anything from last Friday sale. The Friday before that, the first Festive Friday sale, I ordered the 10 bar mystery bundle and the warmer bundle. I've not got them yet. So we'll talk about those when they come. But today is the Freaky Friday sale. I have 10 uh, mystery bars right beside me and three buddies. I don't need any buddies. Um, I don't have any room for any buddies, but these guys I've wanted since they came out and I didn't order them. And every time I see them at a flash sale or something, it's like, uh, no, I guess I don't need them. Uh, but when they were all the ones that I wanted, um, I got them. So uh, they are the Looney Tunes buddies because I love Looney Tunes. I grew up on Looney Tunes and it's a shame that I don't even know if Looney Tunes are on anymore. If young people even know what Looney Tunes are. But um, I, I just, they're... I don't know what the word is. You know, they'll go down in history. They're immemorable. They're, you know, perf yeah, perfect. Anyway, whatever the adjectives are or uh, ad adverb adjectives, I guess. Anyway, I don't know grammar. This is Sylvester though. I know Sylvester. These are uh, scent buddies, um, scentsy buddies. They all have a zipper in the back and that's where you put the scent pack. And they all came with a Looney Tunes scent pack. So I have three buddies, three scent packs. And Looney Tunes, oh, I'm not gonna open it. Um, I don't want the smell to leach out. A nostalgic Saturday morning splash of apple juice joins ripe red berries and sugar cherry to bring the Looney Tunes vibe home. So as I said, I love Looney Tunes. I grew up on Looney Tunes. So this is really kind of um, nostalgic for me. Hello? So that is Sylvester. Then we have here Daffy Duck, like classics. These are classics. And I just couldn't let them go by one more time, you know, in case they never come back. If they sold out, I'd be really disappointed. So I went ahead and I got Daffy Duck. So now we have Daffy Duck and Sylvester. And who are we missing? Really like the star of the show here. And I have him right here. What is Looney Tunes without Bugs? Bugs is the star of the show. In, to me, in my mind, in my heart. Let's see. Hi, Bugs. Hi. Oh, your ears are a little wonky. Oh, like there's, I can feel there's like cardboard or something in there. So I could probably make them stand up. But anyhow, this is Bugs. Um, where's your... Uh, a person. I wouldn't say as good a likeness as Daffy Duck is and Sylvester. I feel like Bugs' face is too wide or something. But anyway, I love it. It's okay. I love you, Bugsy. I love you anyway. Um, let me see. I, mean, I guess I guess Bugs has kind of a wide face, right? I guess I'll have to look it up. But anyway, this is Bugs. Maybe it's his teeth that are bothering me. Maybe his nose needs to go down. Anyway, this is Bugs. So now I have them all. I'm good for buddies. I really love the bunny buddies. Um, but I think I love these guys a little bit more because I love Looney Tunes, as I said before. Okay, so we'll find a place for those guys. Then, as I said, the other thing I got from the... Freaky Friday sale was um, the mystery pack, 10 bar mystery pack. Now I did already open them so I could get the scent notes for you. Um, and I think, I think all but one of these I've had before. So the one I've not had is uh, from the Mix It Collection, Juicy Apple Raspberry. And the scent notes are sweet and luscious scent will brighten any combination with a perfect touch of fruity fun. Well, that doesn't really say anything, does it? Well, it's apple and raspberry. It's okay, I'm not really one for fruity scents, but um, 
I, I could definitely, I was just thinking I could mix it. Well, yes, I can mix it. I'm not sure what I would mix it with. Um, anyway, let me know what you would mix this with. Maybe, like maybe vanilla bean buttercream, I'm not sure. Uh, my Hero. Cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air. So citrus, birch, and crisp air. So this um, is interesting. I've had this before. I would it's in my melting basket, actually, to melt this week or this month, whenever I get around to it. I get the birch. I get a freshness from the air, but I don't get citrus. And that's what I'm missing from my hero. I like it. I'd like it more if I could smell the citrus, but it's okay. Vanilla Waves. Maybe I could mix the um, apple raspberry with Vanilla Waves. Sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. Definitely getting the vanilla. I, I guess... I, I'm thinking I, I smell sea salt, but I'm, I don't, I'm just, I, I see, I see the words and now my brain thinks I smell it, but I don't think I do. I don't get caramel either, but I'm definitely getting lots of vanilla. So that might be a good one to mix, but it is good. If you like vanilla scents, vanilla waves is going to be very good. Zeppelin. Funny thing about Zeppelin. I, you will see it, uh, on Saturdays. Uh, Sensi Saturday, because I melted it this week for Sensi Saturday. And on that video, you'll see how much I like this, love it almost, and how, how I wish I had have put it in my Sensi Club, and I didn't. So the next time Zeppelin comes back, if it ever comes back, it definitely is going to go into my club. So let's talk scent notes. Uh, elegantly balanced citrus and sage soar over, over sandalwood and vetiver. So I really really like this a lot um definitely i get sage and it's funny because hang on Yeah, I guess they're the same. I was going to say um, it, it smells different than from what I remember it the other day, but it's, it's the same. Um, yeah, definitely I get sage here. A little bit of a grassy note. Um, really, really good and fresh, and I really like that one a lot. So hopefully oops, they'll come back and I can put it in my club. Feeling pine. Let eucalyptus, pine, and a kiss of mistletoe fill you with holiday spirit. Yes, this is really good. Screams holiday to me. I don't get that sharp astringency from eucalyptus, but I definitely get the pine and mistletoe, that kind of Christmas tree vibes. So that's a good one. Then we got breakfast in bed. I haven't had this one in quite some time. Wake up to warm cup warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with sweet cinnamon drizzle. Oh yeah, this is good. This is so good. The first thing I got was the pastry. It is so yummy. Definitely the pastry first. I get a little bit of cinnamon. Maybe a little bit of pumpkin, but I don't get anything that screams raspberry. No berry notes at all, but a little pumpkin, but definitely pastry for sure. Really, really good. I'm not sure that Jason would like that one, but anyway. Okay, fairy tale pumpkin. Uh, an epic fantasy of harvest pumpkin, midnight black raspberry, and a whisper of black licorice. Now, this was scent of the month at least two years ago, I believe. At least two years ago, because actually... I sent my niece when she had her baby, um, gosh, it came with, oh wait, now am I thinking, I got her the warmer, maybe it was the, do you remember the cloud warmer? But I don't think this was a scent that came with it. But anyhow, yeah, regardless, I've had it before. And I do remember thinking that I wanted to love it based on all the scent notes, the pumpkin, black raspberry and licorice. I thought that would be making a very interesting, you know, note. Um, 
but I didn't get any licorice and I didn't like it as much as I thought it would. Now, you can see it's quite shiny from oil, the oils. This, I'm not gonna touch it right now because it's quite oily and I don't have any Kleenex here. I like this. I like it more than I thought I would. I didn't smell them when I got them. I just did scent notes and carried on, but I am getting a bit of the black licorice right now. So that might not be, that I might have a different experience this time than what I did last time. Okay, marshmallow mint cocoa. This was, came out as a holiday brick last winter. And I dropped the ball when I did not put this in my club because this is amazing. Cozy up with a mug of hot chocolate as airy marshmallow and peppermint float above a rich layer of creamy cocoa. So basically peppermint cocoa. Yes. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I am just kicking myself that I did not put this in my club. It is so, so good. Gosh, it's so good. Um, I'm going to have to go on the World Wide Web and see how I can get some more of this because this is the only one I have. And I don't want to melt it, but I want to melt it. You know what I mean? Um, jeweled pomegranate. I've had this in the past as well. Shimmering pomegranate. What am I seeing here? Oh you, oh, you can't see it. Okay, that's good. It's like a little drizzle of something. I don't know. Shimmering pomegranate sparkles with sugared mandarin and a twinkle of cinnamon. I, I recall that I don't, I did not care for this a whole lot. I'm not a fan of pomegranate scents. I don't, I find them, I just, a little too... I don't know, a little too sweet or berry-ish or I don't know. I would like this if it had more cinnamon. I'm getting this, I'm getting mandarin. Maybe that's the sweetness I'm, I'm smelling there. Um, I get the tart from the, from the pomegranate. I get sugared mandarin. I wish if it had more cinnamon, it might cut out all the sweetness but it's okay, not my favorite. And then finally, almond croissant, and I just melted one today, and I just changed the wax because Jason's coming home from work early, and so hopefully it will be gone by the time he gets here. Oh, this is so good, I love it. He does not love it. A fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. It is so good. If you are a bakery fan and you have not yet tried almond croissant, I really, really, really recommend that you do because it is bakery 110%. It's good. So uh, some of these that we haven't, uh, that I haven't smelled in a while, I'm gonna put in my Scentsy Saturday um, uh, basket and we'll probably get to them whenever somebody picks them. So that's it for now. Um, I just remind everybody tomorrow is the final installment of Festive Friday. There's going to be um, another wax bundle, another warmer bundle, and more things. There's there's always more on the sale than what they say there's going to be. So definitely check out Festive Friday tomorrow. Saturday is Scentsy Saturday. And Monday, if you are a Willy Wonka fan, you are going to want to check out my website Monday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday for Willy Wonka. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Bye.